Hey everyone, it's Gemma. Today I'll be crafting a sunflower charm which I made for my mum for Mother's Day. I started with two circular yellow bases which I put an eye pin into to make it secure. I have also conditioned another yellow ball mixed with some orange to create a deeper yellow which I'll be using for the petals. I rolled it out into a thin log, which isn't as easy as it looks, and then cut it into equal pieces. And then I had to cut it again because I needed them smaller. How do other YouTubers make this look so simple? <laughs> Next, I smoothed out one edge with my fingers and then tapered the other end to make each section look like a teardrop. This is an excellent way to practice patience. I then flattened the rounded edge with my finger so it looked more like a speech bubble, scribbled on some lines and then pinched the rounded end and voila, you have a petal. Attach it to the base and blend in. Now just repeat that until you either get fed up and quit, or until you have something that resembles a flower. Now it's up to you how many layers you would like. You can either leave it at one, have a time out and, I don't know, use the extra time to make a margarita or something, or go to two layers like I chose to. Um, you know what, in hindsight I think I should have just stuck with the margarita. <laughs> guys switching up them camera angles but you didn't see that coming oh my god this is so frustrating get in place you little jerk <laughs> there we go Cool, so now that's done, I conditioned some brown clay and cut it into a circle. As you can see, I don't have a cutter, which makes me sad, but also, I was pretty impressed with my freehand skills here. That's a near on perfect circle, so I'm really glad I caught that on camera. Oh my god, it's a sunflower! That brown circle makes a world of difference. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding some balls to the outside just to polish it off. Rolling out a thin log again, forming a small ball and then indenting them as I place it around the flower. <laughs> I can't help but think those little cutout pieces look like cockroach poop. Is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> there you go so I just finished it off with some shading um, I used a light ready brown chalk pastel here and shaded in the inner part of my sunflower you can also do this on the other layers if you like but I think we've already established I'm a little bit lazy <laughs> thanks for watching guys <laughs>